It's no secret that trying to get your hands on a Birkin or Kelly isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. If I'm being honest, I think it's rather difficult, which is why we're touching on the subject in today's video. Now, if you clicked on this video, then I'm assuming you know all about the brand, its history, and the Hermes game. If you don't, I'll leave some videos linked down below that I find very informative and very helpful if you wanna dive a little deeper. Because in today's video, I really just wanna discuss the Hermes game, why people are so eager to be a part of it, and yeah, that's that's basically it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what is the Hermes game? So basically, Hermes is not gonna sell one of their bags to just anyone. And I'm talking about the Birkin or Kelly in particular. So basically, you can't just walk into a boutique and buy one of these bags off the shelf. You have to be considered for one. You have to be offered one. Sounds kind of wild, right? So anyways, um, what do you have to do to be offered one of these bags and to even be considered? So you have to spend an equal amount, so basically just about as much as you would spend on one of their bags, on a Birkin or on a Kelly, on other items in the store. So let's say you have to spend around, I don't know, $12,000 a month for a while and uh, be a loyal customer. They actually call this the Birkin bait. Now, the more I read into this and the more I kind of um, do some research on this, the crazier it becomes. Honestly, I would never ever beg a brand to take my hard earned money. Like, please, please will you let me give you all of this money for a bag? It's quite uh, insane if we're being honest, but that's just my personal opinion. So yeah, um, I've also read that not every boutique is the same. So some boutiques might um, sell you a bag easier than others. So the whole thing is really a game as the title says, the Hermes game, like it's honestly a game. And so many people are willing to play this game. So many people are so obsessed with getting one of these bags. Now, the only thing I can come up with is that um, because it is so hard to get one of these bags and because it is um, rather difficult and because they are so expensive, I think maybe the appeal is that um, it represents status, like not everyone can have one of these bags, so hey, look at me, I got my hands on one of these, look how expensive it was. Um, it's really kind of a society thing, I, I think, like um, how you appear to society and um, what other people think of you. So I guess if you are a person that cares about what other people think, then maybe that would make you be very, very interested in being a part of this whole situation. Now, obviously there are people that really love the brand as a whole and that have always loved the brand and that have naturally shopped a lot with the brand and therefore have been offered a, a bag. I think that's different. I'm more so talking about the people who don't really have many items but want one of these bags and so they're just spending a lot of money every month on things they maybe wouldn't even buy just to be considered for one of these bags. Do you know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think. Like, why are people so obsessed with this? I dove a little deeper and I did some research on the internet and I found a thread that I wanna discuss with you guys. So this is a person asking, Hi, I've been a luxury buyer since I was in my teens. I've always been lucky to be able to buy whatever I want without worrying about the price. I'd never purchase something if I couldn't buy it in cash and completely be comfortable. I've recently started to be interested in Hermes. However, I feel like it's quite hard to get your hands on one of their items. I feel as if there's a reason that it is so difficult to get a Birkin or a Kelly. Do they only want to sell to extremely wealthy people? I thought this was a good question. What do you guys think? Do they on, only want to sell to wealthy people? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, she asked that. And then she continues and says, how much does one need to make to start shopping at Hermes? Does it even make sense to start a relationship with the brand if you're not ready to drop at least 10K every month to build a relationship? Now, that is crazy that you're even having to ask those questions. 
You know what I mean? Like I would only ever buy what I truly love and what I truly want. Like I bought an Hermes ear cuff because not because it's Hermes, but because, okay, maybe, maybe because it's Hermes, but because I liked it. I really genuinely liked the way it looked. Um, and I hadn't seen anything like it. So it was kind of unique to me in my opinion. And I do like some things from the brand. So I was like, okay, this is very nice. I like it. I bought it. I wear it all the time. I love it. I get so many compliments on it. Um, same with like their bracelet. I love it. I've had it for many years. I don't feel the need to get like 10 other ones in different colors, but maybe I'll get another one in another color. But my point is I'm only buying things that I truly like. Like how, to spend $10,000, I wouldn't even know what I would want to buy every month. Like that is so excessive. That is so much spending. Like imagine feeling pressured to spend $10,000 a month with this brand just to be considered for a bag. Like that is absolutely wasteful. Like who needs that much stuff? Um, so anyways, so some people went ahead and kind of gave her some answers and, um, Somebody said, I'd only buy something if I really wanted it. I see a lot of people playing this Hermes game and buying things um, just to appease, to appease, appeal, appease, appeal. I don't know. There's a typo. Just to appeal to the SA. That's another thing. I mean, they, they're making commission. So you spending that much money and, and they push those products on you and you kind of feel like you have to buy all these things to be a loyal customer or whatever. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there's other brands that value their customers a lot more where you don't have to play this game. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, someone else gave some good advice here. Someone said, honest advice, work your tail end off, save up everything you can and go to the secondhand market. Um, if you have to save that hard to get one of these bags, I don't know if you should buy one. That's just my personal opinion. But I think the second part of this advice is very good. Like, yeah, yeah, the pre-love market I think would be great. You don't have to play all these games. You can try to find a bag that you want. You know, I see a lot of people that are playing this Hermes game and they maybe are offered a bag and I never see one getting exact, getting some, uh, oh my God. I never see someone getting exactly the bag that they had in mind. Like maybe they're offered a bag, but it's not the exact, I don't know, color style that they wanted. Do you know what I mean? So that's another thing. Then you just end up buying one because that's the one they offer to you. And it might not even be the color that you love, but you just want to own one of these bags. It's honestly crazy. I really think it's just a status thing. I think it's just people that are like, hey, look at me. Again, not everyone, not everyone. There are people that, you know, are truly, um, big, big, uh, lovers of that brand. And that's a different story, but I'm talking about the people that are just, I don't know, like, getting obsessed with it. Like it's, it's, it's just a bag. Let's relax a little bit. It's crazy to me. Okay. Let's see what somebody else said. Somebody here said when I was reading this yesterday, I wish I wouldn't have deleted all my notes. Um, so here somebody says, if you like the Kelly or Birkin, I definitely think it's worth it to build a relationship while money doesn't hurt. My experience has been that they're approachable to those who appreciate the house as much as anything else. Okay. That's, that's good. The staff may first seem a little off, but I found it's generally them not wanting to come off as pushy more than anything else. I honestly wish I'd realized Hermes wasn't as intimidating as I thought they were much earlier. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I have never been to an Hermes store where they were friendly to me. Like I don't, and, and okay, to be fair, there are other boutiques like luxury boutiques that are the same, but, um, I just feel, well, okay, maybe they're friendly, but they're just not as forthcoming and like talkative. I just kind of let you wander around. And I think maybe it is if they look at you and they're like, oh, th these people aren't going to buy anything. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is, but I just never felt welcomed in one of those stores. Somebody said, you know, you have to dress a certain way to go in there. Let me tell you something. If I'm in my aloe tracksuit and I'm leaving, I don't freaking know, my Pilates class or I'm coming home from the gym and I want to stop at one of the boutiques, like I'll go in there. I, it doesn't matter what brand it is. I will not dress a certain way just to go into the store. Like I, you will not catch me getting dressed up to go to Gucci and buy the Gucci shoes that I want. Like, no, I'll, I'll walk in there as I am. I am confident in myself. I think 
and I know that um, like I like my style. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to try to dress a certain way to impress a sales associate. Like what is even going on? And to be fair, when I was in my early 20s, I definitely did that. I definitely did that. But now like, no, why would I do that? No, no, I'm not doing that. Okay. Um, here somebody says, I think if you have enough disposable income to buy three Birkins, for example, then you have enough to buy a Birkin. Most stores, not all, require you to spend some before you become offered a bag. Most people say that the number is along the lines of one to one, sometimes higher or lower depending on the bag. So if you are comfortable buying some things you actually like or maybe not even need, in the store, you are all you are all well on your way. Be nice, respectful, courteous. That will get you a long way. Find someone you'll vibe with, and that's all that matters. So again, it's it's yeah, it's it's literally like playing a game. I hate playing playing games like relationships, anything like that. Like I hate playing games. Let's just say what we want, get what we want, and be done with it. And if it's not for us, it's not for us. Like, why are we doing this? So I just find this um, very interesting. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, here, somebody else said, if you can comfortably purchase a few Birkins a year, then what are you concerned about? Don't want to spend 5K or so a month, but still wanting a Birkin question mark? Maybe look into the resale route. It's not, see, and it's not about not wanting to spend 5K a month. I look at it differently. I think it's feeling the pressure that you have to spend that much money every month, even if you don't want anything. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have anything right now that I would want from Hermes. And maybe there's another month where I'm like, okay, I want another bracelet and maybe, I don't know, a scarf or something. But like, to buy stuff solely to buy, to build up some kind of relationship, to build up um, money that you've spent there is insane. Like only buy something if you love it, buy something. Like if you're honestly going to love spending $10,000 a month and you're gonna love everything that you buy, okay, that's different. But just spending money to appeal and to be offered a bag, just just buying things to buy things with no purpose, it's wasteful. It's absolutely a waste of your money. It's a waste of your time. It's like, go to another brand that will be happy to take your money and give you the bag that you want. That's just my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. I would never be caught playing this game. Um, yeah, I would never ever be like, here, please take my money. Like, imagine that. It's literally what you're doing. You're begging a brand to take your money. If they don't want it, okay, that's fine. Yeah, if you really want a Birkin or a Kelly, go the pre-loved route. Make sure that it's authentic though. Go the pre-loved route. Yeah, why not? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's actually great. So um, anyways, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.